Welcome to Stock Babies, gaming show for the average Joe and far beyond. Far beyond audio into video. Oh, wait, this is all fucking audio now. It's all audio now. Because, you know, we do better with audio. You know, let the flow a little bit better. Who'd you fire, dude? Well, you know, we had Jim, then we had Bufilio. Bufilio. Yeah, yeah. Bufilio kind of sucked, man. Yeah, I mean, like, hey, he was the guy who did the video stuff. I mean, eh, you know, it's video stuff. What can you do? Yeah, we didn't know his real name was Mike, and the only reason why they call him Bufilio because, you know, he did a lot of boof. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Bufilio. All right, so it's been a while. So, you know, this is our first audio podcast in a good bit. So, you know, bear with us as we kind of get a little bit rocky here. I'm the Gutter Cat. I'm the Lo-Fi Beatnik. And welcome to Stock Babies Gaming. Howdy. And, you know, we're going to, you know, emphasize the gaming because we got a, new pro- a couple of new projects coming up that's going to help you guys out. Squash the balls, um, hunt the bear, uh, stock baby's audio, and stock baby's music. Yeah, stock baby's music. Hopefully, you guys will get to hear that soon, and you guys will like that. Oh yeah, and also stock baby's club seal. We don't club seals. We have a, a club four seals. Yeah, you know, because somebody's you know got to save those Alaskan beauties. I mean, dude, have you been to that club? Nothing but fucking bomb ass like early nine, uh, early two thousands fucking electro. Right. Don't, 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 yeah, we're not sponsored by them. We're not. We, we, uh, no, we're just shouting out, you know. And we're also not, you know, sponsored by Jimmy's Jimmy. Jimmy's. The Jimmy you put on if you just want casual sex. Right? But about do. No, anyway, um, oh, well, that's it. We're going to do a quick little shout out to our, our boys over there going under. They made it to the finale of the Battle of the Bands for uh, for Warp Tour Bands Warp Tour 2018. The last year, and this kind of proved that uh, the Warp Tour is dying off because a bunch of kids, a couple of boys, yeah, a couple of boys, yeah, boys, won because their parents paid for their gear. They, didn't, it, they had basic shit. They played some certain songs. <coughs> so, so. Uh, you know, you know, you, you know. They probably just hit a couple Blink 182 songs because you know the real Blink 182 isn't gonna be there. Well, they didn't have Blink 182 songs. They actually had fucking um, Search Check In songs. Yeah, yeah. You know, System of Down, yeah. which means they didn't have original shit. They paid off some guys, and the good thing is once they won, you know, paying off the guys to let them go to Warp Tour. They, uh, I heard that everyone said fuck them, called some words, kicked some trash around, and they knew it was rigged. Yeah. And and here's here's one thing, boys. Once you get the fucking warp tour, guess what, bitches? They're gonna realize how fucking silly you are. You're gonna boo your ass off, and you'll never have fucking consensual sex. It was you know, it, it, it was school of rock all over again. <laughs> I, I hate. It was school of rock all over. School again. of rock. Ooh, sha la la, you fucking suck. Yeah, well, you know, at the end of that movie, everybody wanted them to win instead of like those guys of fucking with talent. Yeah. <laughs> You know, because the guy was, was, was like a sexy man, he only had sleeves but no shirt. Yeah, I think they were better. Right? Any band that goes, ooh, sha la la, should be kicked out. You yeah, know? Right? I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie right here. That's <laughs> the biggest reason why I didn't like the Beatles when I was growing up. Because I thought the Beatles were just that, I wanna hold your hand. And I realized all my favorite songs were Beatles. Right? How <laughs> silly was I? How silly were you? <laughs> I'm the skeleton! Yeah. It's, uh, you know, Ringo Starr was the best. Anyway, we're fucking talking about fucking steam this week. Steam heat. Steam heat. Steam, because it's hot in here. It's hot over where. We're talking about steam fucking sale. What? It's that time again. Oh, you know, no, when no, you got... No, 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 no. What? It's that time again. Oh, shit, dude. Did you fucking... Dude, did you get the fucking loan already? Okay. Dude, if you, if you, I'm just saying, if you, you know what, what, I'm winging it, bro. If you I'm get a thousand dollar loan, you get fifty thousand fucking games. Well, dude, <laughs> dude, okay. First of all, it's that time again, year again, when Lord Gaben braids us. L- L- Lord, Lord Gaben, Gaben, Gaben. Lord Gaben, as you be called. He, with he, the, he gave the, us, and thus he taketh away our money. He monies. has given us I, the crowbar. I will, <laughs> I will kiss my wallet goodbye right now, because. It's steam sale time, baby. We will light our money on fire just to show how much money we'll save regardless. Right. We will play Left 4 Dead and mod it to oblivion. For, thou how, for the steameth workshop my little is pony guns. done. My little pony guns. What? My guns on Left 4 Dead are little, my little pony guns. Oh my god, dude, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you got so much shit there. Oh, uh, dude, we were playing Starship Troopers on that shit last time. How many? How long do we have that fucking theme song? <laughs> we're like, bugs, bugs, <laughs> Teletubbies, oh. um, all your favorite characters, you know, um, dude, 
one of my one of the, the shit that threw me off was uh, when the the jockey rides you and it's the summertime song from fucking um, uh, regular show you know it hops in your head it's summertime and you know what that means you know, do some things and do some yeah, other yeah, big I shit I had the Benny Hill theme song I can't say the real one because I'll get in trouble Benny Hill yeah you know yeah you know what I mean no that, but, uh, do I have to reel really sing the tune? Can we get in trouble for doing the Bunny Hill thing? You probably will, so but I will, I'll, you should tell me later. Yeah, sure, I'll tell you about it later. Please, because I am... I'm, I'm, a- anyway, we're not here to just talk about Left 4 Dead. Mm-hmm. Even though we're all nothing special. We're nothing Fucking, special. Fucking, what's it called? We're here to talk about the Steam cell itself. And... All the games that we've gotten over the years in the Steam sales that have oh. been really fucking good. Oh my god. Uh, my library is so full. It's just ridiculous. It's such a library. And, so, and I'm about to get some more games. Like once again, I'm kissing my <laughs> wife goodbye because <laughs> that sale is just great. Oh my god. Uh, okay, real quick PSA. Go for, for it. all those who don't know, you can go to humblebundle.com right now. Get yourself that free Shadow Gate fucking returns. You know, it's a multiplayer freaking shooter game that's, you know, Sega old school. But it's not the old school one, it's like the more recent one, but it's Shadow Gate. Mm. You get it for free, humblebundle.com. You'll figure that shit out. Fucking, but speaking of free or nearly free shit, the fucking Steam sale starts today, Ugh. which is like freaking June 21st of 2018. Also known as say goodbye to your wallet to our Lord Ga- Savior, Gabe Newman. Gabe Newman. Please, <laughs> him. Yeah, he brought us and the, the crowbar <laughs> was given upon the freemen to whoop the shit off some aliens. To the last freemen. To the last freemen. Anyway, so the Steam sale starts today. You know, so you're gonna get some good ass games, regardless of if you try not to or not. Mm. I mean, it's the stupidest thing not to, to pass up if you don't. You know, if you're a PC player, that is. You, you ain't you ain't getting no PS4 games. Wait, wait, what? You're not gonna get a PS4 games for a PC uh, sale? No, no, you're not gonna get no PS4 games. You ain't gonna get no Xbox games. Who said to stop? What about Switch? No. <laughs> Actually, you might get some Switch games because a lot of Switch games are just indie games. Yeah, but you know, let's let's play the better version of it. Right? Yeah, but, of course. But I, 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 just, I just want I just want to get the games you play portably. Cause that's what really matters. There's a bug in your game. Fuck yeah, off. right. I mean, fuck, dude. I mean, I got a fucking I got a fucking Surface Pro tablet. I can play it portably. See, what I don't get this is this generation people. Okay, maybe not every decided, game. But, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like. Everyone's like, dude, the, 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 this system has the best graphics. Are you fucking stupid? And then, and then they put the same fucking game to the Switch. Like, hey, you can play it anywhere. You fucking. I mean, uh, if you want, if you want to play some like you know Xbox style games, you can get PUBG right now for like about twenty bucks right now. On a system that actually allows you to have full range of view. Yeah, the PC. Daisy. I mean, what was the game called again? Uh, PUBG. Arma 2. What's the game called again? PUBG. Play uh, on Seven Days to Die. Gotcha. What was it called again? Uh, PUBG. Fortnite. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, you know, call it fucking, you know, fucking Battlefield 5. But, like... <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> I'll say one thing. Battlefield 5 would, it would look awesome. It would look awesome. Call of Duty, I will not say it's awesome because, you know, I mean, I played Call of Duty back in the day. I did cocaine when I was in college. Uh, you know, I mean, I think, I think they announced that I wasn't really paying attention on that E3 for cock, cock, Call of Duty. Cock and balls fishing. Extreme. But I think there, I think there is a battle royale mode too on that. So that's you know. what I heard, dude. That's what I heard. But you know, we're not talking about those systems. We're talking about the PC and their amazing sale right now. Oh. You no, know, let me tell you some some good shit you can say get. Say one right now, please, so I can just go sat. All right, so you, you can get Ultra Street Fighter five, 4. What's that? For seven bucks. Is it four? Ultra Street Fighter 4. See, that's when Street Fighter was not, you know, when it was in a, not, it was a game. Yeah, right, not a game. A, a, you could beta. unlock characters. Actually, yeah. I think they're already unlocked. All right, yeah. you can get things like, you can get things like fucking, like, Nino Kuni 2. Wrath of the White Witch 2. Actually, it's like something Kingdom or something like that. But like fucking, you can still get it for 35 bucks. I know it's Japanesey sounding, but you know, if you like them Miyazaki moves, hey, Princess Mononoke, that shit was fucking deep as fuck. You're gonna fucking love this fucking game. That shit looks like I a mean, fucking walking anime with Pokemon. Let's face this: Spirit of the Way grabbed crazy. everybody's fucking heart. There you go. That's and the made one. it so. And Princess Mononoke made you afraid of pigs. Right. If you want something darker, <laughs> you got Grim Dawn for seven bucks. Grim Dawn. That's a freaking steal for that game. That's what's, fucking. Wait, what's Grim Dawn? Grim Dawn's kind of like a top-down RPG kind of shit, but like. 
dark and fucking dawn. The and darkness grim. rules the land. You know? Yeah. I mean, I mean, no, no, you got lots of freaking gem PlayStation. No, not PlayStation. Fucking PC gems. Portal. You got a lot you of sweet ass games. Portal. Game. Freaking the King of Fighters franchise is up to seventy five percent off. Wow. You Things serious? like that, and like games like that. You got Nidhogg, which is a freaking fun two D freaking jousting freaking game, which is like for five dollars. Wait, I heard about that. That, that shit looks cool. Yeah, that was right? awesome. I'm gonna get it just so we could do a let's play once Hell we start yeah. doing let's play. Yeah, you can buy all of the Sonic franchise for about eighty percent off. Hell, if you, if you all guys like freaking VR stuff, you can get a Rick and Morty virtual fucking reality for like five dollars. I want to I want to play. Fifteen. I want Tony Hawk Pro. Uh, only one level, of course, of so Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2's uh, uh, Iowa level. Iowa. You know, it's one level jump. Iowa. That's it. Uh, I know that's supposed to be amoeba, but you know, I'm just thinking of the word Iowa. <laughs> but you know, one cell creature, one cell thing. God damn, don't sing that song. Don't Come sing on. that thing. Why, why did I tell you? That's why I said Iowa. Right? <laughs> <laughs> potato. Potato. One state. One brown potato, one part spud. Everyone said it was a lie. You put it in your fries, <laughs> you put it in your vodka. Watch out to surprise. Uh, <laughs> Okay, and, but but you know, for for you for, for you Weibo fans who like uh, Steins Gate and all your visual novels, those are still expensive. So I'm, I feel bad for you guys. Sorry. <laughs> but it, but, but, but thirty bucks. I mean, it's better than sixty, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Wait, thirty bucks to cut that? Thirty off? bucks. That's in half. That's in half. But those those games are sixty bucks. They're intriguing. I'm sorry. The, so is Stephen that, King. That's my inner Weibo walking out, getting that for a little bit. Hey, you could buy Fallout Four for fifteen bucks. Okay, that's just awesome. Cause frankly. That game was oof. It's I mean, dude, a Russian guy sued uh, Bethesda just because how addicted he was. Nice. I kid you not. <laughs> uh, you could get the whole Fallout franchise. I mean, Fallout One for two dollars. Fallout Two for like two dollars. Back when it's just you know two D like. Fallout person. Tactics for two dollars. Tactically fucking up. Fallout yes. Tactics for. Oh, yeah. New Vegas. Hold on, wait. Buying. Ooh, how much is New Vegas? New Vegas is on sale for. Hold on, I got walked out of there. Five bucks. Five bucks. Five bucks. Ten bucks. So New good. Vegas so Ultimate, good. bro. Ooh. That's all the DLC. The whole lot. Oh, god damn you, Steam Cell. Steam Cell. 10 bucks. Fall out New Vegas. I'm buying that shit. And here's the best part. We're going to say some more little sales, of course. Oh, right yeah, now. yeah, But yeah. the best part is this is day one. This is day one. Oh. Yeah. They go by days. They go by days. They go by days. You know what? This calls for a celebration. We're going to do a live beer run right now. Hold on for a second. You riff on for a little bit. So, all right, so, you know, back in the old house, um, when we were first move in, uh, me and my cousin, we just looked at each other like, ooh, we we going to do this, do that, smoke that. And I went upstairs, we were choosing our rooms, and me and my homie Tito, we went, ooh, 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 ooh. And, you know, everyone loved it, you know, except some people didn't like it at first, that we just rearranged it, and everyone just started loving it. So the next day, we whooped out the old trusty bong, and we just shine it all up and we, we start packing and to be honest this is before I really really start smoking before I mean I smoked before go, go figure but this is when I really turned into a goddamn uh, pot leaf and when I started smoking I, I just just melted to the floor and and then they just fuck with me <laughs> beer run re <laughs> completed beer run completed and oh. so I say to all the guys at the owl house go fuck yourself <laughs> and I you know and to be honest you know I want to you guys are awesome too. Right. But anyway, back to our steam to topics. <laughs> that was a live fucking beer one, uh, run, wasn't that it? That was a live beer run. Well, I'm gonna take a live piss run pretty soon too. <laughs> that was awesome. I like that. This is this is our new format of the show, by the way. We don't stop. We just we tell stop. stories. We just talk. We freaking for because all you guys need when to one hear guy the realistic leaves, we tell stuff. Stories, goddammit. Anyway, so we're gonna be talking about today about you know our memories of steam sales and games that we have and don't have. Don't have shit. That's good. We have a lot. Right? You, know, you, you start one game, one one game, one game. That's oh, you want you want to go one game, one game? One game, one game. All right, all right. Do one. Go. All right, I'm gonna start off with the whole fucking Sonic fucking series. Damn. Right? One day I was just sitting there like Steam sale. Okay, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Boom! Every Sonic game for about two dollars, five dollars here there. All right. I could drop fifteen dollars. Boom, 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 boom. Made it rain. Oh yeah, made it rain, brother. Made it rain on the Sonic games. Oh yeah, dude. Made Sonic. it rain on that. I, I'm big old. I'm say I'm a Sega fan, but bigger than a Sony fanboy. Okay. Kevin Butler, he can move aside. Bring me my little blue furry friend, man. Give me that. I seen him. He actually has a furry costume. He dresses as Sonic. I dress as fucking uh, Mark Twain, and we go on adventures. Motherfucker, I be Sonic, you be Tails. 
Uh, first of all, I'm way too fucking tall to be, to be anything besides Dr. Robotnik. Second, I'm Mark Twain. <laughs> you Mark Twain? No. I'm Mark uh, yeah, Twain. Yeah, so, you know, you know, so, like, you know, the good thing about Steam sales is that you can get games and have fucking hours on that shit. I mean, God, God knows oh. I played every freaking Sonic game to freaking oblivion, but regardless, okay. I mean, like, you know, that, that was, that's a good thing, you know, because... All right, here's mm-hmm. one, though. You got a lot of those games. Which of the 2D Sonic games would you say is your favorite? All right. My favorite 2D Sonic game, Sonic yeah. Spinball. No, it's Sonic fucking... What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a fucking rocking Sonic 3. Sonic 3? Sonic 3. And I'll tell you why. Not Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 3. Mm. All right? Not, and not the combined one either, because the combined one had different music. We're not, we're not doing that shit. Sonic 3 had fucking some badass music. And it's like, you know, Lava Reef Zone was the shit. Yeah. That was Sonic and Knuckles. Fuck, Sonic and Knuckles is the best one. <laughs> All right. I'll say this. Sonic though. and Knuckles has like the best soundtrack. It's like freaking amazing. And and you know you get to play as Knuckles, you get to play as Sonic, and, you know, bullshit like that. I would say part uh, Sonic and Knuckles used to be my favorite. Then part two was, but I would always hum fucking part three, especially that ice fucking level. David. You know, it was an awesome, yeah, it, it was an awesome, it, it was awesome, 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 awesome man. All right, all right, all right, so, right. So, all right, besides that, you know, yeah. oh, of course I had, like I said, the whole collection, racing nice. and all that shit. All right, you know, that was kind of a cheat, but hey, you know, you go on to another one where I think about the next one. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. All right. I love Sonic games. All right, my germs, my germs. So, my first um, Steam sale game, you know, when people told me about this, I I, sh- I kind of shook up and went, you know, I, I the first thing I said, I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking get the whole entire Half Life series, but there was one game I saw because I I heard of the Metro series. So yeah, you know what I'm talking about already. So this is the first time I ever played a Stalker, and this is how it happened. I booted up. Stalker. The graphics were like whatever, whatever. But I looked at everything. The entire environment was dramatic, uh, <coughs> dynamic. If you shot a, a pistol, I mean a, a bullet, it dropped. Drop physics back in the day, right? So I was freaked. I was like, all right, that's pretty fucking awesome, you know. <laughs> So, like post-apocalyptic shit in Russia. So I'm walking with this crew, and we're going to the building, game. and you can fucking check through walls and shit. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. And then I realized some guy just went tap tap tap, and I died. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? So I'm like, must have been a glitch. I reboot it, and I real and I did it again. Tap tap tap, I died. I'm like, okay, what the fuck? And I realized my body was exposed. And this is the first time in a video game where I thought I'm in a real fucking firefight. Damn. This is the first time I learned about fucking tactical movement in a Oh game. yeah. So I was like, holy shit, what have I fucking bought? So this is the first. This is my first uh, Steam sale game, and I swear to God, it's my favorite one. Oh yeah, it's my. Fa- I love Stalker. Stalker dude. Shadow Chernobyl. That was a freaking great. That's, awesome, that's a dude. great game, especially the, the sequels or. I never got to play those, dude. I heard. I, I picked too. those up last year, actually. Yeah, I heard about which that. Which was freaking awesome. good. I mean, like, fuck, dude. I don't got the time. I mean, there's so much. <laughs> I mean, dude. Okay, and then, like I said, all right, like another one I I gra- I picked up like last year was a. Uh, Nippon Marathon. Nippon Marathon. Nippon Marathon. Wait, wait, wait. Um, the same guys who made Disgaea. No. No, not Nippon Ichi. This, okay, for, for those who don't okay, know... That threw me off. Opening beer. Oh, <laughs> nice. The, for those who don't know, Nippon is kind of like the word for J- Japan or something in Japan. Howdy. So it's kind of like, okay, so this game is like a Japanese game show where you're a bunch of people running and throwing fucking random shit at each other and throwing a fucking random ass obstacles. It's fucking hilarious. It's stupid. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> okay, so uh, you get to play as a dog man. So it's like a, a crab a, person. It's like a Japanese game show. Wait, oh. Yes. Like, did he eat too much crab? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you did. Goo goo goo. He ate too much crab and he became a crab person. I ate too much crab and became a crab person. <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> Everyone hates this version of the show. <laughs> right? <laughs> but yeah, what's called the, the game is fun. It's multiplayer, of course. You know, it could be, but it's, it's, you know, it's literally running around giant maps. It's still in early access, actually. Oh. So, you know, the whole game hasn't come out yet. So, you know... You're having a blast with this game. I'm having a blast with this game. It's graphically stupid, but it's fucking retarded. You get to play as either an old man in a skirt, some Power Ranger unicorn chick, a freaking dog man, or a fucking crab man. 
come on now. If you can't, if you can't say those with a straight face, then that is a Japanese game show. Period. Oh yeah, and it has a Japanese game show feel. Like, oh, you got a watermelon. Grab the watermelon, toss it to the wall, and the oh, wall turns into a sudden big Oh shit! Here comes the shrimp. Here comes the shrimp. Yeah, shit like that. Shrimp. <laughs> Your germs. Shrimp. <laughs> that sounds awesome, though. All right, my my germs. Now to the, I want to say the Half-Life series, which I did, but Counter-Strike Source. Counter-Strike Source. See, I never got to play the first Counter-Strike before Source, and uh, when I got it, that was that was the first game that used the Source engine, apparently, right? So I'm like, all right, cool. We'll see how it plays. And I did play Half-Life 2 before it, so I'm playing it. And I play it online. And then I, I walk in and I'm like, okay, I, I played Quake 3. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna slaughter all these motherfuckers, I thought, you know? That's what I thought in my head. I walk in. <coughs> Calendar terrorist wins. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? And this is where I realized that PC people do not have a soul or a heart. The AK-47 is more accurate than a fucking sniper rifle. Uh, a Magnum will destroy you. And... Um, people love the camp. I mean, they don't. They should have called it Counter Strike Camping, not Counter Strike Source. You know, <laughs> Counter Strike Camp. But it's awesome. <laughs> with, with your counselors, Jimmy. Uh, my name's Jimmy, and I am a camp counselor. <laughs> and Hannah. Hi, guys. And Jason Voorhees. I wonder if the microphone picked that up. Yeah, I know, right? Any, anyway, though, besides <laughs> that shit, fucking, um, yeah, exactly, right? You're freaking playing Counter-Strike, you awesome, camping. Dude. Awesome, Awesome. Choop out, go. That's an easy one. I mean, like, I mean, like dude, mm -hmm. I mean, like, I'm a person who likes to pick up games that have, like, weird-sounding names and weird shit like that. I picked up Melty Blood Actress again. Oh, my God, I remember that move, that game. All right, so, it sounds weird, right? Melty Blood. What am I, a vampire sword? If it's actually, like, a freaking fighting game that's actually made by, like, a bunch of Japanese dudes. <laughs> I, know, um, I know all of them. But, <laughs> however, this game play, put, uh, put some elements into it before Street Fighter Four did, which I know these elements uh, occurred back then as well. Like, you know, being able to use your, your power move, your special meter to do power moves that were like, more like specials and shit like that. But this game has it has a very nice flow to it, a real good, pretty good progression system and all that. That's the, the nice. 2D fighter, right? It's a 2D fighter, that, that yes. Was, that was actually sweet. You know, vampires versus dudes who could kill vampires and freaking... Yeah, you know, there's, a, you know, anime tropes and all that stuff. It was actually used to be, like, a visual novel, you know, those books, kind of, like, uh, textbooks that you read, kind of. But they put it in, in game, game, though. But they put it in game, and then the arcade mode kind of has that with it, too, so it's kind of like, hey, see, you know, this is a visual It's continuing on from this game that fucking nobody really heard of. The funny thing is, the music was, was all right to me, but mm -hmm. then you gave me this one program that cuts off the music, so I cut off oh, the yeah. music. And for the intro, it just kept on playing the Misfits fucking um, oh, yeah, music of course. And, and one song. And this other thing from Mortal Technique. I, that's what I love <laughs> about the PC community. You can mod everything. It's called modding. Modding. It's not just a, a way to go on your moped I'd and freaking, have blue. I modded freaking, you know, my own music. I put the freaking music for freaking, um, for freaking uh, Bloody Roar, freaking Primal Fury for the character select screen. Come on, that's like the best fucking fighting game character select screen music ever. Boop boop. Boop boop. Boop. That's nice. Nice, right? Alright, All right, okay, well, let's hit one more each. Yeah, I'll go for another one. Uh, go for another one. Okay. What I actually regret, I actually do regret, mm -hmm. which is kind of funny. And you'll be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Fear. Uh, why do you regret fear? See? Fear already? Is, fear okay. Is a great game. Fear is, is one of my favorite fucking games. Let me see that right now. Fear is a game where I can still play like fucking uh, Ve you know, Rainbow Six Vegas uh, 2. Uh -huh. But Fear is one of those games because how action-y. It, it, it makes you feel like it's a horror version of the fucking Raid. I love that game. For PC, modern PCs, with multi-core, it's a fucking, it's a pain because Fear was built for a single core, not a multi-core. It was built yeah. for a freaking dinosaur machine. So, so because the multi-core, because one single core is not as strong as a fucking single core, it, it, it just didn't work out that well. Oh, so I, I had to fucking go deep into fucking programs and take a, turn off certain shit, add that, and eventually it, it, I kind of unified all the cores into one, or I thought it did. And I started liking it. I just didn't like that I had to do that bullshit. And by the way, I zoomed it again. Oh, that's... Well, it's my new PC, yeah, right, so new it makes PC sense. And I haven't done that shit again. You know, I mean, like, we got, we got to sit down and tinker with it, you know, I'll fix it. I'll make it work. It, dude, make everything on work. PC. Make oh. it work. 
<laughs> it's one of those games where you get up close, like, everyone's like, oh, you're afraid. Like, yeah, you'll get afraid a couple of times, and then you're, you're predicting that shit, so who gives a fuck? Right. It's one of those games where if you really want to have an action movie with particle effects flying everywhere and whooping ass, that's the shit. Right? Mid- WB, make a fucking remake. Early, mid 2000s, man. They, they, they yeah. tried. I think it's 2005 that came Something out. Something like that, right? It, I think it was competing against Quake 4, actually. That's a crazy part. Oh, wow, yeah. And that went over like wet fart, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, people I, I like. I don't even remember a Quake 4. Yeah, I mean, I wanted like qu- remember I didn't get to play the games on, on uh, PC. I um, I actually played it first on Xbox. Glitchy and shit. That's why. Quake Four, it was like like uh, the frame rate dropped like a motherfucker. Oh yeah. And it was uh, the Doom Three fucking uh, oh, engine that's or some for, form of rage. I meant to get the, the engine's oh, great, but I mean, yeah, it's terrible. Great engine, but like I guess he didn't fucking. Uh, he- yeah, uh, oh yeah, quick PSA real quick, yeah. the the trial for fucking Quake Champions already started, mm. so you know, download that shit, get in there, if you get in there, you can actually stay in there till the game actually releases, if you don't get it in this week, then you're fucked. If you so, like you know, to... Jump on that shit. If you believe that cr- uh, crack cocaine is still a drug, just play uh, Quick. Cause you'll need it. If the, if the <laughs> word frag doesn't mean to get behind somebody and shoot them, but means to kill everybody to you, then buy quick fucking champions. If okay. you know that you shoot a missile on the ground and makes you fly higher just to get some other guy, get quick champions. Because Unreal Tournament 4 never really happened. They sort of did, but didn't, just, you know, play like more like a beta thingy. And yeah, when the hell is it coming out? I, I don't even know. I don't think they didn't do it anymore. I think it used to be like, just kind of like, hey, play this shit on your computer and yeah, you know? Anyway, um, yeah, okay, speaking of disappointments, all right, uh, disappointing game that I bought last year, or not last year, but year before, whatever, one of those years, Killing Floor 1. Killing Floor 1? Now, let me tell you, wait, 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 before fucking people get their pitchforks, it's not because the game itself is disappointing, the greatest game is fucking amazing. Problem is, like, two weeks later, I bought Killing Floor 2. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, I bought Killing Floor 1, and then we got Killing Floor 2, like, a week or two after. Are you serious? Yeah. I didn't get Killing Floor 1 for a while, remember? Really? I know, because I, I got literally Killing Floor when it was in, like, Alpha. Yeah. And then we started playing that shit, and I got Killing Floor 1, and then maybe, like, a little no. bit later, we bought Killing Floor 2. Like, maybe a couple of months or something. Well, a couple Damn. months, either way, I fucking wasted money on Killing Floor 1 Dude, Killing just Floor to get 1. Killing Floor 2. Go back and play Killing Floor 1. I love Killing Floor 1. Because let's face it, Killing Floor 1 really does play differently. What I'm saying is I wasted money on it. And they're like, oh, fucking, uh, fuck it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you know, see, I can understand why. You know, it's kind of a little bit of a disappointment. Not complete. Maybe disappointment is not the word I should be using, but I love Killing Floor. Tragedy, you know. It's It's a tragedy. There you go. Tragedy. tragedy. But it's still still also the category, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sucks. uh, Either way, I got Killing Floor 1 and 2, so, you know. Yeah. You know, we can can land party this shit. I'll wear my tux, because that's what I do at land parties. (laughs) You wear a tux? That's stupid. I wear my Gucci. Oh. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. I know there's like a song or something that sounds like that. There's right? a Gucci in my Ferrari. And it's something that that can does. I don't know. I don't well, know the hip hop of the days. One sec, I gotta do a live, like a broadcasted live, you know. Pistol. Oh, right, right, right. Anyway, so, you know, this year's games I'm looking forward to. I might buy this little, uh, My Little Pony fighting game. Actually, it's not My Little Pony. It's like the dudes wanted to make My Little Pony fighting game, but they ended up buying, like, making, like, this farm animal game why am i talking about a little pony fighting game because it's actually a very detailed freaking animated cartoon fighting game which is kind of hilarious when you think about it a bunch of fucking farm animals beating the crap out of each other i mean like there is that um darkest dungeons a game i've been wanting to get for a while it's kind of like an rpg that you know you die roguelike and whatnot it's freaking sick as fuck you know <laughs> excuse me Nah, but like, you know, so this year's steam to sell, once it once the low fight comes back, he's gonna you know, we'll we'll be talking about what's good, what's coming out here nowadays. But um as for that, we got lots of things coming out. Like if you're a fighting game fan, you can buy things like Mortal Kombat 10 for six dollars, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom for ten dollars. Which, you know, is probably better than Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite anyway. So, you know, might as well grab onto that, you know, that was probably best. You can buy a Skull Girl for three bucks, which is cool. You know, Skullgirls, again, once it was like an anime fighter, but you know, having that whole Marvel vs. Catcom vibe to it. Oh, and that's I always been it. the best freaking style oh, of fighting game. Welcome back, sir. I feel so fucking good. So, I tipped it out and a lot of liquid came out. Oh, oh I, saw, I was hinting a little bit of what freaking games we'll probably get out in this sale this year. Check this out. <laughs> fucking, uh, fucking Tales of Cold Steel. You can use fucking mechs and all that shit. Tales? Trails. I oh, say. what are you doing? Trails like of that. Cold Steel, but check this out, dude. It's like mechs and RPG and shit, dude. Look at like, that shit. Oh, wait, so it's, um... I don't know. I just see mechs and RPG. Honestly, I know this series... For what? For what? 
For PC, man, this is on the freaking Steam sale right now. How much is that? Uh, Trails of Cold Steel 2 will set you back. Oh wait, that's DLC. Thirty-one bucks. My bad. Oh, out of well, it's, it, it is a, it is a new game. Yes, because it's a new game. Oh, like, that's, that's, that's good. Let you know, sixty, uh, fifty. Okay, like okay. Let, let me get this out what of the way the real main quick. Price, uh, like yeah, forty. So oh, thirty out of forty. So it's, it's okay. Okay, okay. Here's the thing. There's been this concurrent running series called Trails, not Tales, not Tales of. It's Trails of. Trails, like as in like some kind of like something falling, flowing right behind you. Trails, yeah. All right. So this series has gone on since maybe. Uh, Slightly before the PSP era. Really? Yeah. And um, they, they started out with Trails of the Sky, Trails of Sky 2. Then they went to Cold Steel, which came out during the PS Vita and shit like that. That's the uh, robot shit. That's this shit, yeah. So it's an RPG uh, game. It, it, I mean, like, it's actually got its own following. So you can get the newest one, Trails of Cold Steel 2. You know, Japan has like part four already. But you can get the newest English one over here for like 30 bucks. That's part cool. two. Yeah. Which is right. pretty cool. I mean, like, I heard pretty good things about it. But again, you could jump on to things like freaking Nino Kuni and shit like that. They have the whole King of Fighters franchise on sale for like 75% off. That's pretty good. Which, uh, believe it or not, you can get King of Fighters 14 for like 30 bucks and there's the freaking SNK is still supporting it. Is 14 the one with the, sprites? No, it's the 3D one, the, the most recent 3D one. Oh. Uh, and they're, one. They're, still actually, they're actually still supporting it. They just released DLC characters for it. It's because he... I don't know. I, I love the Kid and Fighter series, and I love oh, that they're supporting stuff. There, there's, it's, like, more simpler and straight to the point. I mean, like, I love... No, I mean, like, I'm not... Like, I, I'm actually gotten back into Street Fighter V. Mm -hmm. Which is cool, but then like you know, you go back to those like freaking. Uh, you have fighters. to buy. You have to buy everything on Street Fighter Five. It's like. Oh my God! I. That is hard. Hundred percent hate their business model. A hundred percent. I a hundred percent don't 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 respect it. But as a person who plays fighting games by themselves online, it actually when you really 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 sit down and think about it, it doesn't affect you at all because somebody online has that stage. You're gonna fight in it. But if I bring your ass here and we, and we play Street Fighter V, like half the stagers are locked. See, I, I rather just have it myself, you know? I mean, it's cool that you're gonna fight someone in some stage, but what if you wanna fucking play in that stage? I mean, some people love stages. Yeah. Final Destination, for fuck's sakes. But the thing is, I don't like that business model because I saw. Oh, how yeah, it's, you, it's Cause it's you showed me bullshit. how long it would take me to fight people online. Oh, yeah. Just oh, to get it'll that take shit. like a, it'll take you a long ass time. Fuck, and you have to win too. That's the problem. You have to win. Fuck, yeah. dude, I had to pay money just to get a guy costume for one of the characters. I mean, because the guy is not in the fucking game. It should be quadruple platinum to get all that shit. Yeah, the you know. Like, yeah. Shit, you know. I mean, I say this because you showed me Tekken. Oh, Tekken Seven is the best way to do this shit. Tekken Seven on this cell. Tekken Seven. Is. Is business model is just what you're supposed to do. Not not they should or this would be great. No, this is what you're just supposed to do. Unlock your characters. Unlock your. This. No. What they've done is a staple. They did what? a fucking staple. See, you unlock all your characters at extremely not too easily, but extremely reasonable um, point system. You know, you win some mm -hmm. points, you, you unlock them. You don't win them with one fucking go through, but you know you keep on playing, you get them. That is the perfect method. And there's so many things to unlock, and there's so many extra stages, and a lot of shit is already unlocked already. Right. So this is literally like if you're really a huge fan, and you will be, because, you know, it's fucking Tekken 7. Plus, you get to fucking put your own um, music from games past. That means if you want Tekken 2, you can put a Tekken 2 in the snow fucking level. Right. You know? And a lot of them actually do fit, I have to admit, dude. It was really nice. Right, right, right. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Bro Force is on sale for $3, bro. Bro Force. Bro Force. For real? Yeah, for PC. Again, for PC. This is a Steam-centric episode, for, so you know every game you're gonna hear us talk about. It's, it's a badass, you know. It's like Valve Steam System. Valve Steam System. PC, you know. Valve System. Uh, you got Ori in the Blind Forest. If you don't got an Xbox, you can get that shit for ten bucks right now. If you want a shirt, you can buy a shirt. <laughs> uh, I'm just looking through the page. <laughs> Yeah, you can you can buy Hollow Knight. This was just announced for oh, like you can Switch. Buy Rush too. You can buy that Rust. shit for ten bucks. It's just announced for Switch. You know, if you want to, you could buy Rust for eight bucks. Yeah, exactly. You were just talking about that. Awesome. Shit. And here's the best part of this. Wait, wait, wait. If you don't like any of these fucking games, wait tomorrow. Wait. It's like the fucking radio. If you don't like fucking this one song, wait three minutes. Right. If you don't like these games, wait the next day. Oh yeah, dude. It's like you can get like, like if you're a fighting game fan, you could get like the most recent Blaze Blue. Mortal Kombat, or freaking 
other freaking uh, fighting games for less than ten bucks. Not only that, they have some ridiculous ass pricing oh, measures. Damn, you I mean, I've seen some ten percent, fifty percent, but that's rare because they usually have fifty percent. Look, like the last, 60%, yeah, there you go. The last ninety nine. The last two D King of Fighters, fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks. No, five bucks. My bad. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five fucking dollars. That's that is fucking amazing. Skullgirls, three dollars. Three dollars. And I've shown you Skullgirls. You like yeah. you like the animation of that shit. It, that, it was nice, man. It was very Three nice. dollars. I mean, if, if you're fighting game, this fan, this is this is great for you. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's lots of games. I mean, like, like I said, there's everything. You know, so so if everybody, if you're into that, you know, like dirt, if you're on racing, you got dirt, the crew, things like that. All again, once again, all under ten bucks. Ten under Jesus, man. And Jeez. there's sections. There's like the there's sections. There's like ten percent sections, the fifty percent, the under ten dollars section, the the beta. I mean, early access section. Me, I'ma buy the forgotten game mascot tie, the Tasmanian tiger. I literally never heard of it. And of course, I'm not gonna buy that shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was actually pretty good. But you can buy DuckTales Remastered five dollars. Bought. Yeah. Done. Ooh. Done. Done. DuckTales. Ooh, who actually recently played DuckTales too? You know the rare fucking Nintendo game. Have you? Yeah. Wow. You know our friend fucking. Uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know he he brought it and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, uh, he, he's pretty good. Come he's, on, you gotta do it good. Uh, you have to do a good. He's my friend. Do it, my friend. Do it. He he freaking brought it. Brought over part two, which is he's a rare video game collector, <laughs> and that game is actually pretty. Oh, good. <laughs> oh fuck! Dude, actually, that's I don't. I think I'm gonna buy that. Damn you, Steam sale! Who got the money? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, they right, always okay. come. They always Remember, come. If you, you see a business, if it's for the business, for the show, just tell me I put halfers. In right, place. of course, of course, of course. Shovel Knight treasure trove. Is because half the money bucks. goes to from go, our uh, Shovel Knight from the Alaskan Risk, cartel. Oh, Risk of Rain is only two dollars, bro. <laughs> Wait, really? Risk of Rain for PC. Is oh my god. We have it for Vita. It's awesome. We have it for PS4. We have our PS4. I also got a Vita freaking TV, so once we get that capture card up, actually, I don't need to buy it, so never, <sighs> never mind. I mean, mind. For, the P for the one guy who doesn't have a PS4, um, Risk of Rain is one of those uh, games that it's a t it's like, it's a small, it's a 2D game. You're small, but it has so many R RGB, um, RGB, <laughs> RPG elements where where it's just awesome. It's an action game. You shoot stuff. You have to go level by level. The longer you wait, the harder it gets. And I kid you not, you know, it's a sweet game. I recommend picking it up. Right? You have every serious Sam already, huh? Which one? You call them because they're about two bucks each. No, I have three. I have yeah, none for PC, but. Wait, what do you mean you have none for PC? None for PC. I thought you had. PC. You know that's what I thought too. I kid you not. Oh, you I thought I had two, three. Sam? A serious Sam. Sam is being serious. Being serious. Okay, how much is part three? Oh, hold on, let me. I lost it. Uh, <laughs> because Serious Sam is a series that should have been on PC, and, but you know, to be honest, oh, I mean, it is on PC, but I think it should stay on PC because one of those games where. Well, they only have one and two right here, but I'm pretty sure if I search for three, three will be really dirt cheap too because the sweet ass. You can get the last. Oh. Game. You know they're announcing. They announced four, right? Mm. Yep, they announced four. Cause he's serious and he's Sam. My name is Sam. I'm serious about killing aliens and, and using sledgehammers. Uh, it's, it's just, uh, <laughs> it's, it was a horde mode before horde mode started. It's not. A, I would say it's a fucking God of War ish going. No, you know I can't say that. It's just a fucking game where you kill waves of shit that goes at you and you keep going. Mm -hmm. Now I'll say one shooter that's like God of War and you'll be like, what? What? Doom. Yeah. No. Yeah. You're, you're, yep. Are you talking about Doom? Doom or Doom? Doom? Doom 2016. Oh, okay. Yeah. Doom -doom. You kill a couple of shit, you know, just like God of War. Oh, you go into a room, a shitload of stuff get, goes at you the, until you kill everything. That's when you leave. God of War. There's some puzzles. God of War. Um, you're killing some fucked up uh, shit. God of God War. Of War. <laughs> uh, shit goes down. You don't give a fuck about who's around you. Uh, God of War. Alright. Um, yeah. Doom is the first person shooter equivalent of fucking God of War 3. And War if you War like War. simulation, you can buy Civilization 5 for $7. And Doom is cheap too. And you could also buy Saints Row the Third and have some fucking fun fucking playing Crackdown. Wait, what? Because you know Crackdown 3 isn't gonna be. No, but how much is Saints Row the Third? Saints Row the Third is. <laughs> three dollars. I'm telling you, even the part four superpowers and all that shit. That's part three crackdown, was the best dude. one. That's just Crackdown, dude. It I'm is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be disappointed when Crackdown 3 comes out because it's. 
Because it's, it's the same shit we've seen already. By the time that it comes out, it's the same shit we've seen. I've seen the trailer already from this year's E3. It was just... It was as long as you can shoot out a building, I'm down with that, you know. I'll be down for that. Because part four was oh, nice, but they yo, took bro, up the death You get, you get Killer Instinct for ten bucks. Okay. So, you know, like the, the Xbox. That's what I love about having PC. I mean, like, fuck, you can just get all the Xbox games for, like, cheap. Yeah. <laughs> like about Cuphead and Shantae fucking for 15 bucks each? What's Shantae? That's that one genie chick who can do... She, she's like a mascot Shanti. platformer. Yeah, Shantae. That's Shantae. Shantae. Shantae, whatever. Shantae sounds you can like be, a... Hey, 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 you can get Ikonigas for fucking five dollars. Shantae. 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 No, Shantae sounds like a drink. Ah, oh, Shantae. It's also something in French, I don't know. Oh, Shantae. Shanti is uh, is a genie. Of course, you can get Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 for like 10 bucks because it's PC is the only place you can probably get it nowadays. 10 bucks. It was better than Infinite, so you know, that's a good thing. That's cool. I'm pretty sure there's still people there. God, I fucking hate this Steam, so there's so many fucking games. For just today? Just for today. If you don't see a, and this is hard, this is really, really hard to not see a game you want that, that's been discounted, but if you don't see your game, wait till tomorrow, because this shit's fucking through the summertime. And if you don't see a game you like, then you'll probably like Deep Space Waifu Flat Justice, because you are a fucking terrible person that likes waifus. What's a waifu? Uh, you know, like, it's a, a freaking anime nerd's freaking wife that they select out of a fucking anime. What? I'm sorry, I'm like deep into this fucking. What? 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 <laughs> no, so, no, let me, let me tell you this. No. Okay, so, I want to hear this. So, I'm glad there's trip hop music in the background. Okay, right? So because this is fucking hilarious. Okay. In the anime <laughs> culture, if you if you see a character yeah. who is potentially like, hey, that, like, oh, that, that's my girlfriend, and, and if I was a cartoon character. Okay. That's a waifu. So you're telling me, um, Action Jackson. Is my waifu. Would Action Jackson be your waifu? Yes. Well, then Action Jackson is your waifu. <laughs> Action, oh, Hank! Oh, oh, my god. <laughs> what? The best fucking game ever fucking released on any PC ever is also $3. What? Worms Armageddon. Boom! You can't uh, tell me you have never heard of anybody who's never had or played Worms Armageddon. Everybody, like, like, it came with, like, fucking, like, soap. In fucking detergents and fucking the mail, dude. <laughs> fucking everybody had worms on the getting. And now you can get it. I love worms. I, I'll admit, I do like myself some worms, but. Fucking. Whoa, those, 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 hand grenade, those mods, though, man. Those, those mods, PC bro. mods were just I too fucking love the PC. <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, like. I mean, right. I, if, I, if I were to name every me. Uh, let's see if we can if see I can, right Oh, okay, hold on. I want to see scroll from my, I'm all, like, near the bottom, bro. But I can do, if I do this, it, it's gonna last all night. It'll be, it'll be all night, dude. You have Injustice 2. Uh, of course, if you like yours. Oh, Injustice 2? Yeah. How much? Too. It's 30 bucks. Oh, uh, but yeah, bucks. compared to 50 bucks. So fuck yeah. That's pro- and that's probably for Fuck You Edition, right? Yeah. It's probably, I see Injustice 2. It's probably Fuck You Edition. It probably is Fuck Off Edition or something. Yeah, right? You know, the one that has all the DLC? Fuck You Edition? I mean, there's some games I haven't even heard of. There's one called Guns, Gore, and Can- Cannoli. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> like I said, dude, you can name every game there. We'll be here all night. All I know is it was a slow news week, so we're talking about Steam games. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a 2D Italian old school shooter, I'm guessing. Oh man, dude. I mean, and you'd be surprised, freaking, um, what's it called? Hotline Miami was amazing. Oh my god. If you ever hated communism, you bought fucking Hotline Miami. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I <laughs> uh, mean, damn. I mean, like, this was a nostalgia trip of all kinds of fucking Steam. Dude, I'm telling you, that game, uh, whoa. The Steam game. There's a game called Squad where it's a 50 versus 50 multiplayer first person shooter. Oh, so it's fucking Fortnite. That that <laughs> captures um, combat realism through communication and teamwork. It's literally War the Fucking Game. Yeah, I mean, but I mean. The, no, I mean War the Fucking Game. Fortnite Arma. should have done that shit already, kind of. No, I'm not talking about fucking uh, Fortnite where everyone's like, oh, we're gonna go and get some buildings and hide. No, this is 50 people at once. Doing this, this combining. Oh shit! Dude, yeah, Final fifty. Flash. No, this is fifty versus fifty. Yeah. This is not Fortnite. This is fucking fifty motherfuckers versus fifty motherfuckers. Squad, communicate, conquer. 
That's awesome. <laughs> what accent that was, it was just me fucking like... That's like an Australian who just saw an Englishman and, right? and ate an apple. Yeah, you know, I mean, like, there's so many things. I mean, hell, Halo Wars, you can throw Kaiden 2. So Kaiden 2. Freaking mm, West of Loathing. What about the fear of it? Uh, football Manager! Whoa. Fucking Football Manager touch, baby! Let me guess. Do you ever want to fucking manage footballs? There you go. Wait, football or football? Football. You know, football, football. Football, football? Football, football. So what kind of football? What teams of football? You know, football. Argentinian football. Oh, okay, I was about to say soccer. <laughs> soccer, yes. American soccer. Because we started first and we made it manly. You guys said football. That's why I call it soccer. <laughs> and Anime Killer 7? What? Uh, yeah, Ultra Despair Girls, Dragon, whatever. That's Anime fucking Killer 7. What do you mean? Can I, can I see that? Uh, it's, uh... Speaking of which, killers. All right, all right, all right I, I, I gotta drop the ball. I know, on this one. I know. Killer fucking seven for PC coming out this year. Killer fucking seven. That's the one thing I want to remake for the Wii, but let's face okay, it, that's anime, not gonna happen. Anime Killer Seven. Oh, hold on. By the way, did you know ever play Killer Seven? Wait, that's part two. That's not the video. Killer Seven is like an anime. You know that, right? Yeah. Killer Seven is like a fucking. Um, I fucking love Killer Seven. Killer Seven is like an anime made by fucking um, by Quentin Tarantino. Guy. I shit you not. Okay, so this is a. Uh, okay, let's see. We had this a schoolgirl in, in Japan who knew. A bear. There's, there's a bear. Okay, you're running around. It's anime Killer Seven. It's literally fucking anime Killer Seven. Shit's going down. Weird shit's going down. Weird shit's going down. And then it goes into first person. Fucking, uh... Fucking, this trailer did not do any fucking justice. Yeah, because that looks like not a Killer 7. Well, right now you'll see. Shame on you. <laughs> it's showing, like, trailers for, like, part two and stuff. And there you go. It's like, when you walk around and, like, you know... You see how, like, it does that first person kind of, like... Yeah, but you're moving left and right. Yeah, well, that's the... Uh, well, Killer 7's on rails. But, you know, like, the thing, when you're walking, it's on rails and shit. <laughs> It can't, these trailers ain't doing anything for it. That's not a killer it's, it's, seven. It's on unre- no, nothing could be killer seven, bro. That's not a killer seven. Nothing at all. could be fair. Yeah, Shame I fucking on you. Love killer seven. I'm Shame trying to explain you. to you. That's why I threw in the word anime in there for you because because you, uh, you couldn't understand. The, Speaking of which, is killer seven on this second set of list? It's not even out yet. Wait, wait. On uh. On what the Steam? Phone? Oh. Killer seven Steam edition. Yeah, fall 2018. Damn you, people. Fall 2018. It just says like that too, like fall, bitch. <laughs> well, like I said, that was that was our sort of semi recap, not really recap of the freaking Steam sale because there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games. You'll probably like any game you like to fucking play. If you guys like PC, you guys are gonna grab any fucking game on this list. Like now, yeah. Kiss your wallet goodbye because you're gonna fucking you're not gonna stop. Yeah, you better go. You're to gonna fucking... like you're gonna like tell yourself, okay, I don't need this game. But you're gonna buy it anyway. You better just go to the fucking the, the check and cash place, get a thousand dollars. Yeah. Fucking, because that's yeah. the only way you'll take advantage of this shit. Because yeah, fully. you're gonna tell yourself you're like, fuck, I don't want to buy this game, but damn, it's on sale so much. Look at that. Cause it more you know Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3 for 25 bucks. Oh, it looks like it's time. Not not in case. <laughs> it looks like it's spaghetti time. It's spaghetti time. I'm mean, freaking every every like <laughs> recent game for like 20 bucks, bro, at a minimum, you know. I don't yeah. want to say a minute because there is a couple things. There is a couple Quick Champions! I'm going to download it and ya. Yeah. Nice. I'm going to download when I come home. Actually. Uh, and let's, you got to put in your, your birth date because, you know, make sure you're not a little boy. I was... Nah, I'm not a little boy. Yeah, I didn't fucking boy. get my parents to pay for a fucking no, uh, no, no, a concert to, in, in my... For a less fucking Paul. You know who who you are, you little... You boys. Oh, you little boys. You lop asses. You I'm lost. Adding, adding you lost. Don't you love the power of freaking cell phones nowadays? You boys. <laughs> in, in, insta add that shit to my fucking game because that's what's happening. Mm, 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 Success, mm, Craig mm, Champions mm, is inside mm, your freaking mm, game library. Cool. Mm, mm, I know some homies will get that too. Right? <laughs> anyway, so that was it. That was our recap of freaking of Steam so it's not really a recap because there's so many freaking games but if you guys heard some stuff that you guys want to buy you know here's a good thing about this thing though if you heard this if you're gonna hear this three days from now or a week from now guess what it's there's still gonna games be going there, on right it's a summer sale it benefits you to listen to our show right away right now god damn it you know, listen fucking, to it right away sort of or else you. you're gonna end up just buying some round cogs you better get there now you don't want your female freaking anime booty games you're what <laughs> <laughs> anyway, freaking yeah. So that was it. That was it for the show. Um, I'll say we. Uh, I I kind of like this last one, which is like 
uh, busting a huge load and we just wanted to. Right. This one is just going back to her good roots and just having a good time. I mean, time, like, we're, we're, we're doing things different nowadays. I mean, we got we got some more stuff planned for you guys, you know, if you guys just hold on for a little bit. Yeah, it's way, bitch. You know, we, 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 we're trying, we're trying, okay? We're guys, we have money, we have regular jobs too, you know? Yeah, kind right, of. Right, right, right? <laughs> all right, all right. I think that's it. Yeah. All right. And scene. Seen like what? I don't know, like the end of the Where podcast. Where have you seen? Where have you seen? I've you seen? seen. I've seen things you never want to see. Well, usually when you see and seen, I thought like like seen a music like a scene kid with like long no, hair. No, not seen kid. I I've seen a game called Duck Game here. Duck Game. It's called Duck Game. Okay, they ever tell you about that one fucking illegal thing I did with some ducks and and Tasmanian devils? Oh man, no. I need to know about this. Okay, so first of all, I got the jet tip. Kid. What, dude? Did, remember man, like, remember when we didn't we, we uh, didn't bring uh, the new guy Geo dude back, and his whole fucking purpose is to fucking you know end the show, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean like Jesus, yeah, I mean I know it's been a while, but fuck, I mean like, I mean we, I forgot that we had to turn this microphone off. Yeah, that's his fucking job. We forgot to get him again. 